Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> I stopped off at LOJ Conversions today and I picked up a few things. I bought his ultimate kit basically. So I have always done my own engine mounts and turbo kits and a lot of stuff on my own. And I'm very pleased to be just doing a bolt on kit for once. I wanted to see how the other side lives and everything's already done for you. It's all quality components. Uh, some of you are getting your minds blown right now. I'm almost done with the nitrous kit. The videos are coming along for that. I just wanted to show you guys the amount of stuff that comes in one of Steven's kits. This, yeah, it's everything. It's when I say it's everything, it's everything. Let's just, let's take a quick, this is the entire wiring harness that plugs into the Nissan. It has Nissan connectors. So this stuff plugs into the Nissan body control module. It has a CAN bus translator that translates the GM CAN to the Nissan CAN and back and forth. So all of the integrated things work. That I believe is, it's one of the brackets for the accessory brackets. This is for the power steering pump. It is a custom machined piece that screws into the, this goes into the Nissan side, this goes onto the reservoir. <laughs> I mean, it has a seven quart front sump Canton pan with hardware. This is the oil filter relocation lines, which have heat wrap and nickel and black finish nylon braided hose. It comes with relays. It comes with a twin package aluminum drop-in fan system. It comes with Cook's long tubes, one and seven eighths headers with LOJ's logo on them. That's the Cook's one. The other one says LOJ. Take a look at that, incredible. This is more of the accessory drive, idlers, pulleys, brackets. Comes with belts. This is for the speed sensor off the trans. These are the engine mounts. This is a starter. This is ARP hardware for the conversion flywheel. That's the trans mount that you could probably pick up a motor with. A clutch master's clutch kit. A aluminum adapter for the transmission bell housing. That's just gaskets for the headers. This is a complete modified drop-in fuel system setup. It's the entire hat and everything already modified with a aftermarket pump in it. <laughs> and this is an aluminum drive shaft with a new product of his, the speed sensor tone rings, because the CD09 does not use, doesn't have a vehicle speed sensor. It uses the ABS rings. So to make everything work 100%, you use this Hall effect sensor pointed at the drive shaft, and then that's what tells the GM computer the mile an hour. But wow, is that is that enough stuff? All of that has to go in to that little 48 over there and into this thing. So looking forward to giving this thing some hell on nitrous, and then starting on all of this. I guess I could start bolting a bunch of it on my 48 just to get rid of it, oil pan and everything else put it all on there ahead of time but wow just look at that pan let's just pan across all of this stuff wow 